What is up guys, it's a boy Raven here today and today I'm going to talk about all the trainer cards from the Remix Bout set. Of course, Remix Bout is going to be, you know, it's a Japanese set that's going to be a part of our November set because I know there's a little bit of confusion there, so Remix Bout is not a name of our November set, right? This is just a Japanese set and this and, you know, a few other sets are going to, you know, combined are going to create our November set. Uh, really? Okay, you understand that? Fine, that's great. Don't forget also to subscribe to the channel for more news and more decks. Right, so today I'm only gonna focus on trainer cards, right, from this set remix bout. Uh, why only on trainer cards? Because I want to do like a separate video uh, when I'm talking about Pokemons themselves, right? Uh, third things first, I want to thank uh, Poke Beach because, you know, uh, thanks to them, like, they've revealed all those trainer cards, all those Pokemons, and they have the translation. So we're going to use PokeBeach.com uh, website right over here uh, to, to, to read and look at all those trainer cards, right? So only trainer cards from Remix about today. Then, uh, probably, you know, during the weekend, I'm going to talk about uh, Pokemons. Are you ready? Okay, so this is the Remix Bout uh, booster, actually. That's how it looks like. <laughs> looks quite quite uh, good, right? You know, we see uh, all those tag teams that are in the set, right? So we have the Charizard, the Brick, uh, Brickson, Piplup, uh, Blastoise. And right over here, we got a Vincer and CCC. I don't remember his name. Uh, kill me. But that this is that is not important. We're going here. We're going to this list of trainer cards, right? So as you can see, we are on the PokeBeach.com website. I'm gonna go card by card from the set. There's a lot of reprints, so it's quite 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 interesting if we will get those reprints as well, because it's really good to uh, look at them, especially now that they are in November, right? So they are gonna be a part of our November November set. So starting now at the top, we've got energy retrieval. No need uh, of explanation. Right, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile back to uh, your hand. The art is the same as we have right now. Then we have energy switch again, a uh, card that we all know and love, and not another art that is the same. But then the third card, right? Actually, right over here, the third card. I'm gonna scroll a little bit. It's something new. It's called Great Catcher, and what it does is discard two cards from your hand, switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon GX or EX with their active Pokemon. So definitely. Uh, kind of like Guzma again, one way Guzma, because you know, you're switching, but you have to discard two cards and it only works on GX and EXs, but still, it's nice to have options like that, right? It's nice to have something like that. Uh, so catchers are definitely going to be played uh, coming to November and after after November. Then we're going down to switch again. Art is the same as we have right now. Switch, switch your Pokemon uh, with another uh, <coughs> switch your opponent. Uh, Really weird translation here. Uh, switch your opponent with another player. What? Super weird translation. The switch your uh, active Pokemon with another on your bench. Basically, that's what it does. A really weird translation here. Um, I don't know. Don't know why. Let's go to Pokemon Communication again. You know, a uh, card that we all know and love. You take one Pokemon from your hand. You shuffle it back to your deck, and you go for the one you need. Then we have Janin, another supporter, right? Uh, right over here, we got Janin that we all know and love, and definitely goes to uh, Venomoth deck, which is look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand, shuffle the other cards back to the deck. So, for for now, only one new uh, one new uh, trainer card. But then we got Professor's Oak setting, and this is a card that really you know is interesting, and I'm really curious about that card, how it's gonna perform, how it's gonna actually uh, be played. Because uh, you search your deck for three basic Pokemon of different types and you're putting them on your bench. That's quite interesting uh, card to me, right? You know, we can enlarge him. There he is. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to enlarge the cards I'm talking about, right? So here, we, here it is. Um, the Professor Oak. Really, really nice card. Definitely for uh, the multi-type decks. I can see this. Uh, being, especially that there's no HP restriction. So you can go for three different GXs. So you can go uh, Mew and Mewtwo. Uh, what else? Like Picaram and whatever, you know, fourth you want to go, or, you know, Evilax, uh, Jirachi, oh, Jirachi, right, Jirachi and, 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 and Reshazard, for example, right, so there are options with this, so definitely a nice card, I love that, helps tremendously, but in decks that have different types of Pokemon, that, that are all around one type. Then we have Judge, again, another card that does not need uh, any, any, any explanation. Uh, both players shuffle their decks, uh, their hands to their decks and draw four cards. 
later we have a roller skater uh nice nice comeback car right now uh, we had roller skaters uh in the past i don't remember if we had uh, this exact uh card but definitely you know a nice card to have in standard so definitely you know people that like those older versions will be happy about it uh, discard a card from your hand then draw two cards if you discard an energy draw two more cards really nice uh, idea especially for uh, discarding the energy i mean you know you get four cards of it that's really really cool then we go to energies right we're gonna have two new energies that are really really fun first is wake guard energy what is that? Wake guard energy. Basically, this is weakness policy and energy, right? Uh, the card provides one colorless, and the Pokemon it is attached to has no weakness. So this is basically weakness policy and uh, the card. Quite interesting, especially you now uh, in those decks that require only you know like one colorless to attack, or they you know you want to play this colorless uh, just 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 so you will not have weakness. I might think, you know, I think it might seem some play, uh, definitely a nice idea. Thankfully it's not a DC, because if that would be a DCE, uh, that would be super overpowered. So, with one, I think like one copy or two copies might land up in, in a certain decks, right? So definitely a nice card. Then we have a draw energy, the energy that we all knew it's gonna happen. And, you know, we've seen it, so you attach the energy and you draw one card. Quite interesting idea uh, as an engine. So, yeah, like for me, that's good. And now we're going to the setting of what I think are going to be our league promos, and not uh, really cards that we're gonna receive, right? So I honestly think that... Uh, from this acrobike, right? Because we're gonna from here, from acrobike down, those are going to be at certain point uh, in time league promos, uh, either in uh, unified, you know, unified minds in November sets um, seasons, or maybe after. But those are definitely gonna be league promos because there are different arts, right? This acrobike looks gorgeous, fantastic, and it looks like a promo card for us, right? Uh, we now receiving those uh, Japanese versions of, of cards and our promos, like for example, uh, this month's uh, June, July, sorry, July's um, promo card is Kiawe for a leak, for example, right? We've got a Volkner, uh, we've got a Mel Frank pen, Rescue Stretchers, all those, all those Japanese promos, which uh, we didn't get in the normal sets, for us, there were there are alternative arts. So acrobike, you draw two cards and you have to discard one of them. Really, really cool. Uh, love acrobike, and definitely you know more people will have access to acrobike if this is going to be uh, the promo card. Then we have a skateboard that looks absolutely fantastic. Honestly, those cards like they look like promos to me because the art is gorgeous. Like that's how every single card should look like. They are amazing. A skateboard, of course, you know uh, retreat cost is one less looks fantastic then we have a lady another card with a different art and let's be honest this in comparison to lady that we have right now it's night and day this looks gorgeous this looks attractive this looks something you want to play while the other lady well it doesn't look good i mean art style so i kind of see you know the difference in the art and that's really good coming to november coming to you know post rotation world they are really looking into art and I love that because that was what I kind of was lacking and they started doing that art that is memorable art that you really enjoy looking at sometimes right and now we're starting to get that because let's be honest you know like the previous lady in comparison to this is just not as good right like and let's even you know like you know what let's even google it so Pokemon TCG lady and uh, Let's just look at that, right? Let's just look at that for a second. In comparison, this is this is night and day. Uh, of course, it's a full art, but there we go, right? Even even the normal version of the card is boring in comparison, right? I don't know if you, if you see that. Yeah, you can see that. It's boring in comparison to this this beauty, right? It looks just amazing in comparison to those. So definitely on a plus side. I think it might be you know another league promo or league cup, league challenge, definitely and. Definitely a League Cup or League Challenge promo. We've got another Welder, right? Definitely, uh, again, another art that shows that she's a female, not really a male character. That is really cool, you know. She's smiling, she's happy. She's Again, this looks a lot better to me. Maybe more cartoonish, but definitely a lot better than the Welder we have right now. Another full art. Full art is amazing, 
but this looks a lot better than the regular version that we have right now so definitely definitely amazing amazing cards coming in november and hopefully you now they are going to be promo cards because they look like let's be honest what do you guys think about those arts what do you guys think about the trainer cards from remix bout i want to hear your opinion about that thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that and for more decks and also don't forget to check me out live on twitch it's raven called such where we are playing uh like that's that's the i know it's facebook but it's it's a uh, twitch as well uh where i'm playing hearthstone and pokemon tcg live and creating those uh decks also down there below we have a five percent discount any code with purchase on professor oak and the codes are as cheap as on ebay so pff, with my discount it's even better so thank you so much for watching raven loves you bye